Hello, Radu. Um, I like that you present um, the Omeka tools. Uh, our students know about WordPress, and uh, maybe if you can, you can tell us about uh, how you used Omeka in your own project and what is the advantage of Omeka compared to WordPress, for instance. Yes, thank you, Federi. Um, Omeka is just like you just said, is a tool uh, qu uh, quite close to WordPress in the sense that it is a CMS, a content management system, which enables the end user to present uh, documents online via um, a back end interface where documents and texts are. Um, are, are um, inserted. So why did I choose Omeka? It is uh, a tool which was designed with WordPress in mind, so a blogging software, uh, a, man a content management system, but it was designed especially for historians, for literary students and scholars. Uh, and how is that? It, uh, it's um, it's a way in which Omaka manages to deal with metadata, with all this information that historians and literary scholars are interested in, and which concerns, for instance, authorship of a certain references, the fact that a reference has to be easily quoted on another website. So Omeka uses a standard, which is called Dublin Core, a standard about uh, metadata, which is easily visible when working with it, and it's very, uh, it's very easy to, to, to set up. So that was one of the, the most important reasons why I chose Omaka over WordPress. Why did I choose it for? I, uh, one and a half years ago, I was funded uh, by, the, by the mayor of Paris, um, a postdoctoral scholarship to work on a digital humanities project, which eventually ended up being an online publication on um, melancholy. On melancholy as an illness at, at the end of the, of the Renaissance. So I had to deal with texts, with images, with um, these types of documents, which are all connected to uh, the subject of melancholy uh, in an older period, in, 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 in four for in, in, in the end of the Renaissance, so 400 years ago. Um, the major challenge was to um, find a way to put all those texts online, to present them in a visually engaging way, so that the user, which knows something about melancholy, uh, might be interested in finding out more, but also more general uh, users, uh, visitors of, of the website, might uh, might be interested by being uh, by being shown images of of people who who who, who suffer from melancholy. The idea uh, was that by using Omaka, I was able to create a blog, an online publication website as well, and a digital tool for my own research. So it's all those three things which I put together, and I created the website which is called Melancholy Stories. Dot com, and on which I published, and I'm still trying to publish uh, documents about about this subject. Um, again, as opposed to WordPress, it the main feature is that it takes care of some digital aspects which are important for literary students and uh, uh, historians. The metadata, the Dublin Core uh, structure, which uh, enables the use of certain details about documents uh, which are not available on WordPress. Most, of, most important, for instance, you can work with Omeka together with another tool. They were designed by the same DH laboratory at George Mason University, another tool which is called Zotero. Zotero is, is a re reference management software, so you can very well imagine having a digital library uh, of your own where you keep all your research management uh, and, and research related uh, documents and those documents are quite easily uh, placeable into an Omeka database. Think of it as a way to 
to, to store and also to showcase digital collection of, uh, of, of documents. So that's what been in short why I why I'm using Comic. Excellent. So, so the link with Zotero was something very important for your uh, for your research. So, how does it work in practice? You 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 identify your your document. You uh, use Zotero to um, to classify them and document them, and then you import to Omeka. Exactly. There is Zotero is is this wonderful tool on which you go on from website to another and you identify uh, either scholarly articles or um, old books, imagine Google Google Books, which is beginning now to have an incredible collection of early modern 16th century books. I would go pick up those documents, then uh, read the pages that would be of interest to me. In this case, everything that had to do with melancholy and with, the, with descriptions of melancholy patients. I would select the relevant information, and then it is very easily to create either a bibliography from Zotero or a CSV file, for instance, and have that imported by Omeka via its uh, dashboard, via its control panel um, interface, and then the document would be imported, verified, um, cleaned, and published online. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you, Radu. Uh, have a good day. Most one thing, thank you.